I'm telling you guys, this truck looks better and better every day. Yo, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Lone Oak Farm here in Farming Simulator 19. Today we are back and you can see the area that we have clear. Believe it or not, just this small area around... <laughs> Whatever fields we're at right now. Where's my where's my help window? I keep hitting buttons and nothing's popping out. My goodness, I'm breaking it all. Did I? Yo, I broke my game. No, we're good. Okay, we're, we're good. KBM switches stink sometimes. Check this out. So we are right here smack dab at the beginning of the forest anyway. We've still got a lot to go. We still have to come back in through here. And we've still got to do all of this. Not only that, we've got another spot right here, plus we've got the Enchanted Forest up here, and a little bit area down here, none too much. But that's what we've got going on now. First off, it's literally just this area, but it's going to take a long time. It's going to take a whole long time. Yeah, wee! So, I'm very excited about getting all this done, but what are we going to do with it? Well, we're either going to use it as fields, or... We're going to be using this for animals. Now, I'm interested, actually, in using this area for animals. Of course, as you know, we're going to need some more area for animals. Because soon, we will have not only extra cows, but we have extra sheep, pigs, chickens. And, and I want that. And I want to be able to create a brand new farm here in the woods somewhere. But gonna take a while we've still got to cut down quite a bit of stuff and i would like to keep some of the outside area around i think that would be nice you know also check this out yeah oh goodness gracious <laughs> i love the suspension on this new update yeah all right <laughs> i love the suspension on this new update it is so cool now i'm not gonna worry about getting anything smoothed out or anything there's still a whole bunch of bumps back there but i'm not gonna worry about it right now what i am gonna worry about is getting this back over to the main farm because we've got some work to do today as you probably know maybe you don't i like doing grass work so we're gonna do some grass work sorry not sorry let's get over there let's see what we could do. I think we've got some new mowers that have been delivered today as well. Mmm. Pull her up and rock and roll. You might be able to see the mowers out there. So I, I ended up using some non-cheaty mowers to start with, but I totally remembered how long things take. So we're going to use cheaty mowers. Sorry, not sorry. Let's open that up. Also, you may be able to see the amount of money that we've got has increased dramatically because... I have a mod installed. I don't know exactly what the mod is called, but it's some PC mod and it gives you, it's like a, a government subsidy, but it's, well, in seasons, it's at uh, spring one, you get it. But if you're in game, you get like a percentage of what your land and equipment's worth, something like that. Anyway, uh, yeah, so we've got that now. <laughs> so yeah, there's a couple things that I want to figure out what we're going to do. And this first cut is going to be extremely important. And this is going to tell us what we can do. We're either going to do silage or hay, one or the other, because um, we need silage and hay, so we might as well do one of both. However, I have no idea which one we can do. We're going to see if this is dry grass already. If so, well, that's good. If not, well, then there you go. You could look and you can see we've got a lot of pluses for the drying potential down there. We have a lot of drying potential. Plus, no, uh, well, it's not sunny, but it's not raining either. So that may show me that this is going to be, and I believe it is, dry grass. Yep. So... We know exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be picking up dry grass, but this is all going to be left because this is going to turn into hay. Dry grass is what you want when you're doing stuff like this because you want that dry grass to turn into hay for you, and that is good. Another thing is we've got to come through and actually pick all this up, so I'm trying to drive it away where my, <laughs> where my Woodrow isn't going to have many problems getting a hold of this. I don't think we're going to have any problems, but 
well, you know, it is what it is. And it's me at the end of the day as well. So there's always that to keep in mind. So let's rock and roll. We're going to get a bit of a headland done right here. We do have multiple fields to do here, not just one. We have two grass fields to do. Both of these are going to need to be mowed today. So you know what? I'm going to go through. I'm going to hit these headlands on my own. We're going to hire a worker on this. And uh, then we'll come through and we will start windrowing. Now we've got our mower set. Everything's good to go. We've hit our headlands around. What I did was I ran one full headland around. Because it's a pretty square field, um, it's actually really easy to do. So one full headland around the entire thing. And then I go at the bottom. Do I have my mouse on here? Nope, can't see the mouse. We'll do it like this. I go start here all the way around, one full headland. Then I go this way and then back, creating three lanes at the bottom, come down, and then come back and forth again. And then you set the worker. What that does is let them rock and roll, do they thing, do good. And you've got plenty of room for your worker to turn around at the end when mowing, that kind of thing. Now, of course, we're going a little bit faster, but I just don't have the time to sit here and wait on this yard to be mowed. We got work to do, baby. Hey, let's go. Speaking of work to do, yo, we got to get this wind road up now as well. So it is dry grass. So that's, there's that at least. Let's, let's jump out here. Let's take a look at it. Let's see. So you see grass, you see it's 18% uh, moisture, 33% fertilize oh that's the ground never mind <laughs> it's not even the grass good job dj all right well let's uh let's get this up let's go over to yeah this little guy this will work so it doesn't have tons of powers like 130 some but we don't actually need bukoodles of horsepower to run our windrow Winrow is going to be just fine. Now, I am using a Pottinger Winrow. Those of you may be excited about this new Alpine Farming Expansion DLC. I'm very excited about it. But with it comes some stuff like this. Yeah. So it's going to come with different things such as Pottinger. Now, these are mods. This is not in-game stuff. Or, yeah, these are not in-game stuff. These are mods. Of course, these are mods that anyone can get. But they are mods nonetheless at the end of the day. And we're going to have to use all of the, or We're going to have to use this to pick everything up. So we've got our grass on the ground. Very good. And we're going to open this up. We'll just go through, create our windrow. Ooh, looks like our guy has missed a little bit right there. Well, that's, oh, yep. Yep, good job. Crash counter plus one. Always, always, always. We, we, come on. I'm not going to do that again. Uh, now I'm just doing a dance. <laughs> I don't know what I did, but I can't get back up. <laughs> Let's just drop this down and come over here. Oh, again, I will reiterate, this is why I don't play realistic. Because I stink. Not a good realistic player. Oh, actually, speaking of, this is having not a hard time, but it's it's going a little bit slower than I would have expected for this to go. All right, you know, it's no worries. This is what it is. Let's see. Can we take these turns and keep our windrow in line. I think we can. So we're going to run around. I'm going to go around this field. Uh, well, as many, many times as it takes, I would like to be able to hit two headlands around with this. And then we'll come through and we'll just do kind of a back and forth kind of thing. So guess we'll see you when we're done ish with this, something like that. Yeah. Tell you what, I've got an idea. I'm running into a bit of a problem where my windrow is hitting my headlands. So I'm going to fix that. We're going to take this and we are going to grab our loading wagon. We're going to go ahead and pick up our headlands. Why not, right? So we'll go ahead and pick up our headlands. I think this thing will fit 100,000 liters, something like that. So might make a few trips. We can fit up to 2 million liters in our main silo. So that's going to be good. Hopefully we don't fill it up because that's 20 trips with this bad boy. It's going to be a few. It's going to be a few. And I'm not looking forward to doing that. So we're not going to do that, hopefully. Let's come over here and let's get these up. Like I said, we got a couple different headlands to run here. We'll just run a uh, through and back. You can see right there, I've just parked him up. I want to hire him on a worker, but I keep kind of hitting. These swaths are very large. This is uh, limed, been plowed, fully fertilized, and... It's, it's a bit, man. It's a bit. All right. Let's come through. Oh. Um. Okay, it's down. Yeah. It's on. Yeah. And it's 
not picking anything up. Of course it's not. Why would it? <laughs> Seriously, bruh? Seriously? I just wanted to play semi-realistic. <laughs> it's not doing it. I bet you, I bet $5, just $5. If I put the windrow on here, I bet this thing will actually work. Watch this. Watch it actually work. Nope, dip, dip. I'm, I'm, I want you to, I want you to see the whole thing. We're gonna come over here. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna customize this bad boy. Yeah, yeah. Nope, nope, nope. Go dip. Please, please go down. Windrow. There you go. Windrow. Hundred thousand liters. <laughs> Might be a little bit much. Let's, let's put the extension on there. Just well, let's go back. There we go. Customize zero bucks. I'm down with that. You guys down with that? I'm down with that. We hooked in. We're hooked in. Let's get out of here. Now we're going to put this down out there. And I bet this will pick it up. Now this is dry grass. It's not hay. But it is dry grass. Spin it out. Put it down. Turn it on. Didn't I tell you? <laughs> Picks it up like a charm. It doesn't even care. It's like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a, I'm a loading wagon. I could do that. I could do that quite a bit. Watch me do that. Yeah, whatever. All right. So, uh, game plan. We're gonna pick up the headlands. I've got one at the or two at the bottom, two at the top. So we're gonna pick up both of these, and then I'm going to sit my uh, my other guy on a worker. Now this is going to be. Let's see. We're gonna we're gonna run into an issue. We're gonna have to make two trips. Might as well go ahead and unload this one. So at the top, again, two bottom two good what else am i missing oh yeah the winter was not, not getting enough speed let's put this in just grass grass will be fine we're gonna need grass eventually for sheep so we might as well start getting it now so what we'll say is you know our our headland regardless of what grass field we run we'll just say our headland will be for for that and for that only or something like that whatever this guy's rocking doing good cool all right we'll pick it up and then uh then we could finally set our windrower back on a worker. And sadly, the windrower is actually already failed testing. Failed testing. Yep. Yep. Sure did. Use that reference. I had to get a new one. Uh, it's not going to work. Those uh, The double-sided one is just <laughs> not happening. The one with four, uh, four windrows on it. It's just not happening for what we want to do. So um, I've went ahead and invested in a Merge Max. Merge Max is going to do everything that we needed to do. I'm trying really, really hard not to cheat and trying to do things appropriately and and not do them the way they'd be like, oh, DJ, come on, just why? But I'm having some trouble with that right now. So you, I mean, you know, you know. Let's put this right here. Let's get it away. And all right, let's get this up. Yeah, I was thinking, should I put? the mowers on here and, and and i'm a little bit i'm kind of i'm thinking yes but i also think it might look weird so i think that maybe this is going to be the best way to go um we also need another tractor already i'm already looking at me like yo we need another tractor bro <laughs> so it is what it is what are you going to do about it let's bring our help uh, help to bip yep yep that thing Help window, and let's let's see if this is gonna do what I wanted to do. This is my version, so it'll go as fast as the mowers do. Hopefully, we'll be able to keep up. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna kick all of the uh, everything right here in the middle, and then it's going to put on top of that another run. So we'll actually be able to do less runs through here, picking everything up. It's just gonna put everything nice in one big old pile. Which I, honestly, I prefer that, to be completely honest with you. So let's see if this worker does what they're supposed to. As long as they do, we will be able to go and do what we need to do with the other. And it looks like that's going to be the case. So check this out. So it does, of course, doesn't get the whole thing, but it will come through and it will pick this swath up along with some extra grass and stick it all in one mega swath, which is going to be perfect. Check that out. That's awesome. I love that. I love that mod so much. Let's turn this on. And now we need to run and finish up our other run. So we got one more grass field. I do have some other grass areas that I'm thinking about using. 
we'll see what happens there. Also, we've got some other yards around here that I was looking at. So, well, never mind. Those are a lot more expensive than I thought that I thought they were. We've got the cow pasture. I'm tempted to go in and mow that because we won't be getting cows until next year anyway in game. Um, usually when I'm doing a season's playthrough, every bit of money that I make for the first year goes towards buying cows for the second year. And I always start doing everything like this. I know that I could still go in. I know I can buy, you know, whatever. I know I can buy some, uh, some cow food, but I prefer to do it this way. I, I actually enjoy doing grass work. I'm a creep. I know <laughs> it's, it's fine. It is what it is. Let's drop that down. Let's turn it on. And then I am going to personally hit a couple headlands here before hiring the worker. Moving on. Gotta love grass work. And one field is done. All we gotta do is sit and wait. I like to do this before the, it turns into hay. That way, as soon as it turns into hay, I could just kind of jump in, get the work done, and get it moving. But we've still got quite a bit to do because it's only wood field. Yeah, there's, there's another one. <laughs> I have run two headlands around this one as well, so we're going to do the exact same thing here, except we're going to come around backwards because we're running in uh, putting everything into the left. Well, we're going to take everything that's out here, drop it down, and push it in. Just like that. There is some areas around here where uh, it's just not going to happen, but that's okay. Should we just come through and use the... <laughs> I think, you know what? Well, we'll I, I got an idea for this so there's areas back there that we're just not hitting and that's totally fine but i i want to do this this is completely and utterly unnecessary for the way that i'm actually going to be running this let's play <laughs> but i don't care man i just don't care so again these two outside headlands these are going to be used as uh well feed for for cows if we need grass which we don't we're not using maize plus we don't need grass um we're actually they're only for sheep aren't they <laughs> yep only for sheep man we are missing a lot on the outside of this map all right whatever whatever it's kind of a, a hack job but it is what it is uh, so the reason that i'm doing all this just so the worker can go back and forth on the interior and work just fine so let's finish this up i don't think you guys need to see much more of this let's finish up the grass work let's get everything in rows let's get everything set ready to go let's just get it done because we've got other work to do today so now that this is done we need to come through and we need to fertilize this but we're not going to do that right now because we've got a few other things to do the first thing is going to be free grass what what's uh, dj what you talking about free grass well as you can see this area this is not a field i mowed it this area over here not a field i did not mow it However, I am going to go in the cow pasture and mow this because wood's free grass. So there's quite a bit of it in here. So we're going to take full advantage of the free grass in here. And this will be going towards help, <laughs> helping these bad boys out a little bit. Let's drop this down, unfold. We're not going to do anything yet. We need to get in here first so I can get a, a sense of where we're going and how much grass we could do you could always come in here and plow this up totally doable by the way but once you've got cows well it looks kind of weird so it looks kind of weird don't do that <laughs> don't don't turn your cows down there we go we'll just come through here i'm literally just gonna mow like yeah all this we're gonna mow every single bit of this <laughs> yeah. but it's usable it's doable what do we we'll probably get i don't know 20, 30,000 liters of grass, possibly even more. I mean, this is free money sitting here laying on the ground. So I'm going to take full advantage of it. Plus, it's going to grow just as fast as all the other grass around the map. So what's the dealio there? We'll come through, we'll pick it all up, and we'll just save it for a rainy day. You never know when you need grass because you could use grass for silage. You've got grass for hay. Grass is just standard grass. It doesn't doesn't really matter if you've got it well it's good oh yeah this is something oh and you can also come in here and just kind of oh we are we are in here aren't we <laughs> yes we are let's see if we can get out from behind here so you come in here you could delete these trees if you want come in cut them down use the chainsaw use whatever you've got to your liking and i'm just gonna go around and get my free grass cool 
Let's do this. We'll come back and we'll pick it all up. I was dead wrong. We cut 97,000 liters of grass. Granted, I did go down and around the backside here, all the way up behind that. I mowed in between here, I mowed in between here, and we did this area right here. As a matter of fact, let's go into grass and let's go into growth. And you might be able to see what I did. Yeah, straight down through here, all the way up and down to this whole area right here as well. Uh, unfortunately, some of the orange areas was just unable to get to. Look at all that. Look at all that grass right there. It's ready to go, but we can't do it because it is a Yep, there you go. All right, next, I need to find a way to make money. <laughs> I know how it sounds, but we're going to be spending a lot of money all at one time and I need to do something about it. I need to invest in a business. I need to put some kind of placeable down or something like that to put me in a position where I can make money without actually having to make money. Make sense? Yeah. So what I'm going to do is put this in here and I'm going to go into my miscellaneous category and we're going to take a look at things that make us money and no, oh, I'm floating and we're going to see, is there anything that makes sense? That's not ridiculous because Let's face it, a lot of this stuff is ridiculous. So here's how we're gonna make money. Here's my plan. We've got the Witchy Well from Alien Gem. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna place a couple of these down around the map. We're gonna place one over here near the diner so that when people come in, they'll throw a dollar or something in and make a little bit of cash off of them. Also, we have our animal dealer here. People are always wanting to get the best deal and every once in a while, you're just not quite sure. So if we put this over here, maybe when they're outside hanging out, talking before an auction, maybe, just maybe, they'll be able to go, yeah, let's pop that in. Now, as far as public places, I don't know if there's many other public places around here. I, actually, there is. We've got this area right here, but I think that it's just not quite public enough. However... We do have the cell points around here, so what if we put maybe one of these outside one of these, so we get some foot traffic there, and then possibly one more outside here somewhere. Possibly like right there. I think that'll look good. Boom. So we've got four of those around the map now. They're making us $50 every hour. That's gonna give us what, $200 an hour? Something like that? Yeah, it's a little bit of money. We're gonna take that. Also, we are going to invest in bee houses. We are going to make a little bit of money. Oop, froze my game. We're gonna make a little bit of money in bee houses. You know, I think it's funny. I can have literally one of the most powerful computers that money can buy. <laughs> and it still can't run farm sim at full specs. Man, oh man, I think it's I think it's hilarious, but hey, that's just me. So where are we gonna put the bulls? So it looks like the bees are flying out this way. I don't want to get them too close to the house because they can cause a bit of an issue. But I would like to keep them around here on the farm, somewhere around this area. So let's think, hmm, maybe we do a line of them down through here, something like that. I think that'll work just fine. So let's start placing. Here's one. And let's get beside so we can actually see these things. Two, three. And, uh, four, five, six. <laughs> These are real close. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> thirteen for good luck. There you go. All right. So now we've got thirteen bee houses rocking and rolling. Doing they thing. Let's go over here and let's see if the noise is uh, very obtrusive, as I assume it would be. Huh? <laughs> it does. <laughs> There's so many bees. The sound of it's all going in and out. All right, cool. So we've got bees, and we are good. We've actually spent quite a bit of money on all of that. Yeah, I think we spent. Um, those were $500 each. 
And then on top of that, all of the wells, I think the wells were like $2,000, 900 something like that each. So we spent a good little amount. Now the good thing is those wells are, should make us our money back within one day. Um, and then it's gonna take two days for the bee houses to make our money back. However, we will slowly make our way back in. Hey, I'm good. I'm happy with that. I'm excited. I'm ready to, <sighs> I'm ready for, for whatever. So there you go. It's something else I am ready for. It's the end of the video. That is gonna be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Enjoy the Go Ham Fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. With all being said, I hope you have a great, awesome, wonderful rest of your day. We will see you later. Peace.